say you have a table within your application and it takes a while to load. Because of complex calculations that are constantly happening on the data, you can't really cache its information and therefore it takes it a few seconds to load each time. However, you do want to go ahead and show the user the interface, but then show some kind of lazy loading on the actual table's data. And on another page, you have several images that are loaded. Again, you want your interface to go ahead and load to the user, but then lazy load each one of the images, so again, your application is getting that native feel. Also within your application, you may have some kind of dashboard that displays a lot of data, and this data also can take a while to load. So instead of waiting for the whole page to render, you again would like to just display the user interface, and then load each one of the charts individually, because some charts may take longer as they're pulling more data than others. And that brings us to the gem progressive render. I really like this gem because it is unobtrusive to your application while providing a very distinct function. Both Rails 4 and Rails 5 respond really well to this gem, and the gem also does play nice with Turbo Links as well. So to get started, add progressive render to your gem file. Be sure to run bundle and restart your Rails application. You'll then need to require progressive render in your application.js file. And if you plan on using the default spinning loader, then you'll also want to require the progressive rendering your application.css file. And then within your controller, you can simply add progressive render at the end of each applicable action. And then within your view, you'll simply wrap your slow loading stuff with the progressive render block. So notice here for our index action, I've wrapped the whole table. And then for the images, I wrapped each individual image. Now keep in mind that if you have several thousand items, you may want to reconsider that because the progressive render gem will render a separate partial for the loader for each item that it is loading. So that could cause some performance degradation there. However, for simple items or for a few items, it's a very negligible amount. And then for our census charts, where this is a good example of a negligible amount, you'll see that on each one of the iframes, which you'll see is just an embedded chart, I'm calling the progressive render on, and it's going to lazy load each one of the charts as well. So if we refresh our page, you'll see that it loads much quicker. However, now we have the loading spinner, and then our data loads. And if we navigate over to the images, you'll see that each one of the images is also being lazy loaded. And the same for the census page, where each one of the charts are being lazy loaded. Another option with this gem is you can specify your own placeholder. So instead of having the default spinner, you can reference to a different partial and it'll render that instead. Or if you want to create a global default, under your app views, progressive render, you can create a placeholder partial. And this will be a global default override for the loading partial, which displays the spinner. Well, that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. For more videos, Check out driftandruby.com.